And tonight we have the story of this girl. She is 12 years old, Widlene Alexis Earl. Now, her name may not be familiar to you, but it is to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and just about every single MP across this country. Her story begins on an island you may well have visited on vacation. Her Canadian father hopes her story will end with Widlene on a plane to Canada. It may look like paradise, but the cheap vacation getaway that is the Dominican Republic has become a prison for a Canadian family. In the last five days, we've had to hide with lean twice because they're rolling down the street. Imagine five pickup trucks with the boxes completely filled with 20 or, or 25 heavily armed military in full fatigue. Behind us, cages on them to be thrown in and taken away. It's, it's terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying. Vaden Earl is talking about his 12-year-old daughter, Widlene, who he met during a humanitarian mission when she was just an infant. One of our projects here in Dominican Republic was called A Day in Their Shoes, and we would take our students to a garbage dump outside the city here in Puerto Plata, where nearly 100 Haitians were living and working and scavenging, basically, for leftovers from the all-inclusives that got thrown out something to eat or some plastic bottles that they could recycle for a couple of dollars. Widlene was born in the Dominican Republic to a Haitian mother who died when she was just four years old. Vaden and his wife have gone through an increasingly desperate eight-year journey to adopt Widlene and bring her to Canada. We started the process to adopt her. We received Ontario approval and we were, we were signing our final document. That was in December of 2009 and in January this happened. The earthquake that devastated Haiti, which shares the island with the Dominican Republic. We didn't just lose our paperwork and our proof of adoption and all that stuff and our ID and everything. Our caseworkers were all killed in the earthquake. The whole Child and Family Services Department was... In 2010, Vaden and his wife began the process all over again. But then Haiti changed the rules on international adoptions and they were back to square one. Compounding the urgency, local immigration laws have changed so that Haitians are now being mass deported, even if they were born in the Dominican Republic. One stroke of the pen and Dominican Republic created 750,000 stateless individuals. Including with Lean. Including with Lean, yeah. And so Vaden and his wife, who have lived just outside Porta Plata for eight years, are now forced to hide their daughter during these deportation sweeps. If they found her, they would put her in the bus and take her to Haiti. Absolutely put her in the bus and take her to Haiti. The Bring Widlene Home campaign has kicked into high gear, with thousands of Canadians across the country bombarding MPs with emails begging for emergency paperwork to grant Widlene temporary resident permit. We wake up in the morning and it's like an elephant sitting on my chest. I wake up and go, what can I do today? We have to leave here. There's no, there's no point in staying because it's just, it's not a matter of if she's going to get picked up by immigration officials. It's just a matter of when. She just finished grade six and she's, you know, a budding young soccer player and can't, can't wait to get on a team in Canada. And here's the really incredible part of this story. This posse of supporters has been tracking the prime minister's movements right across this country to get him to commit to looking at this file. Since we launched the hashtag bring with me home campaign nine weeks ago, we've gotten a lot of supporters across the country, like lots of supporters. And one thing that they've been doing is they've been checking out Prime Minister Trudeau's public schedule and showing up wherever he shows up. From Ontario to British Columbia to Alberta, this posse has been crashing Trudeau selfie lines. Mr. Prime Minister, is Widlene Earl worth human rights to you? Uh, what's that, sir? Widlene Earl, I know you know who she is. Yeah. Is she worth human rights to you? Is she worth human rights? Yes, she has no human rights right now. Not She's a stateless all. little girl in Dominican trying to come to Canada. Well, I will look into the case. Can you, can you promise us that, sir? Can you promise you will? Mr. Trudeau, can you promise I don't, I don't follow up on that. Yeah. Information on that little girl? I, 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 yeah. I really do. Here's, Here's her piece. Right there. Right there. I, will, I will take this and we'll make sure we you know follow what? up with you. I greatly appreciate yeah. it, sir. No, no, thank you. We can't all I, I know, but, but at least we will look into it. it. It's, it's, a step. it's a step in the right direction, and that's what we're looking for. It's been countless years. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you for bringing Wiley, helping us bring Wiley home. And it's paid off. They've elicited a promise. Thank you. Hey there. With Lee Earl. You've heard of her. Uh, we have some information yes. for you. Yes, I, I, I want, that's want to know what you're dedicated out. to helping her out. Uh, we're, we're looking into it right now. Uh, my yes. office is engaged with it. When we got our, uh, our little posse up and running across Canada, I asked them to copy me on as many emails as they could into their MPs and immigration minister. 
because I've got a tracking software that can let us know, are they opening it? Are they reading it? How long are they staying on? That kind of thing, right? And uh, there's been days, single days in the last month where Hussein's office has gotten over 10,000 emails in a single day period. Hussein is very aware. Uh, Prime Minister Trudeau is very aware. They're the ones, yes, that can make the decision. And those emails are going straight to the immigration minister's office. And when reached about uh, this case, that office declined to comment, citing privacy reasons.